A young man named Daniel Lingen wanted to graduate in his marine uniform. He was so high speed that not only was he an honor student, but he also ran cross country, held down two jobs, and was able to finish his academic requirements in three and a half years. The school board denied him the ability. Many people in the community wanted to see him graduate in the uniform. Well, first it was just kind of like, oh, Dan wanted to wear his uniform, and Mr. Martin had said no. If he did decide to wear his uniform, they weren't going to let him in there. They weren't going to let him walk up or anything. Like, the school actually had a plan B. And there was a petition that went around. I think that the students should, ha should have had a say in the Dan Lingen issue, and we didn't have a voice at all in this case. I'm a fellow classmate of Dan's and uh, I know there's a lot of us that supported him through this whole thing. Um, a lot of us wished that he could wear his uniform, but it just didn't turn out like that. I don't think soldiers get the respect they deserve anymore. Um, to be honest, I don't really think that he should be allowed to graduate with a Marine outfit on, because what's to say that I can't wear my Spider-Man uniform? I mean, it's just not really fair. Not a lot of people agree with the military anyway, so. So do you think a Marine uh, uniform is the same as a Spider-Man uniform? Pretty much. Really? It could be. It's just okay. a uniform. It's just a uniform? It's just a uniform. So in 1776, when our Declaration of Independence was uh, <laughs> declared, was that the same thing as another piece of paper? That's a little different. Was it? We fought for America. I just thought a simple request has turned into a huge controversy. I was just doing as any father would do to support their their child to uh, express wishes. You know, if he wanted to wear a tutu across the stage, I wouldn't have stood behind him. Well, I thought the ceremony went very, very well. Uh, uh, Dan cooperated. Uh, we had got an uh, exemption from the Marine Corps to allow him to uh, wear the gown over the, the uh, dress booze, and he seemed comfortable with that. I hope the school board would change their mind. I would like to see a policy that would not only allow Marine uniforms, but service uniforms of the Army, the Navy, National Guard, and the Air Force. Allow them to wear their uniforms to graduation if they complete boot camp or training in the time that they were at school. To wear a uniform at something like this, something formal like that, to represent your service, your branch, I think that's that should be accepted. Being that there's a rule in other towns and cities that they're able to wear uniforms, it should be a policy that everyone should wear a uniform if they've completed their basic training. I just feel it's a disservice to our country that they've been allowed to make this special rule so quickly. I think there should be some sort of an order coming down from the United States President saying anybody who is going to serve our country should be given the opportunity to graduate from his high school with his uniform on. This should never happen again.